That's on pause right now. No, now it's videoing. Oh, yeah. Hi, my name is Spencer Miller, and I live on a farm with my wife. And in a minute, you'll meet Jennifer. <clears throat> we have a problem here with our outdoor hydrant. And uh, we're going to produce, uh, show you how to repair this. This is a uh, outdoor hydrant, and you, as you can see right here, the little rod that's connected to the lever has snapped off. And so that needs to be replaced. Now we have uh, determined, Jennifer, do you have that little piece of that little thing? That uh, this particular uh, hydrant was manufactured by Water Source USA, and they have a website at watersourceusa.com. And Jennifer did the research on this, and she's going to be the hands-on person. She likes to be the the repair person. That. This part is a little clevis rod, and it needs to be replaced. They have at watersourceusa.com a website and a diagram uh, where you can see a blow-up of this particular hydrant. They have two different types of hydrants. They have one with a blue handle and top, and one with a red. You need to make sure that you get the right one. So we're going to... Pause here for a minute, and I'm going to take over the camera, and Jen will come over here and illustrate what we're going to be doing. Before we show you this uh, next segment, I want to tell you that we have turned the water off. We've assembled the tools that we think we're going to be using. Jennifer has two pipe wrenches, fastens one to the pipe going into the ground, and she's put the other pipe wrench up on the hydrant and has already loosened it. She's going to go ahead and turn that off. We're a little afraid we may get sprayed with water. We don't know for sure. That'll be a little extra for this if it does. Yes, a little water is going to come out. But again, it's been turned off up the meter. Okay. What we're doing now is Jen is attempting to take a little retaining bracket off. She's using... Uh, a pipe wrench and a three-quarter inch wrench to take it off and it seems to be coming off without a whole lot of trouble uh, the purpose for taking that off is to allow us to get the piece of the clevis rod out of the top part of the hydrant we're back now she has gotten that part loosened and we're going to see if that will allow that part of the rod to come out. Yes, now, if you hold it up again, will you please? Alright, that is the clevis rod that snapped. We don't have any reason to know why it did, but it certainly did. And now, she's going to disconnect the top part of that rod where it was attached. We have a, I think it's a 5 16 wrench that will hold that, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to stop right here while we get that loosened. Took a little effort, but she now has that set screw loosened to extract the rest of the clevis rod, which she just did, from uh, the top part of the hydrant. Now you can see the two parts. See, put them together and show how, okay, that's how it fit together. And we have the other one right here that you've already seen in the package. Although we've never done this before, this should be a rather simple process of reconnecting this to the hydrant. She runs it up from the bottom, up toward the top. Okay, that tightens it down, snugs it up a little. And then bring the top part of the hydrant down so that it can be inserted in the top section. And the screw loosen. Now that will probably require some adjustment once we get it back on the hydrant. You can see how that mechanism works. 
Okay, we're going to just simply tighten that back up and we will be back when that's done. As I mentioned before, this is a new experience for us and what we discovered in the break was that the little clevis rod needs to be screwed on to the main section there rather than to go through the top of the hydrant first. So she's tightening that on right now. She'll take a pair of small pair of pliers uh, and make sure that's tight or use a small pipe wrench it doesn't make any difference and then what we're going to do is after she gets that tightened we're going to slide it onto the top of the hydrant and then the hydrant will then screw down onto the pipe going into the ground Jennifer's a regular Mrs. Fix-It. Okay, as you can see, it then slides in. The brackets are all on there. You've got to slide it into the top part of the hydrant where there's a little set screw, but we won't tighten that down until after we get it screwed on to the top of the hydrant. Okay. Outstanding. last thing that needs to be done is that the top section needs to be tightened down on the rod with the smaller wrench. And that is what tightens the, the handle of the hydrant onto the clevis rod that she has installed. Okay. We've left the hydrant because the operation was complete. We've come up to our water meter. Jennifer has a small pair of pliers. She's going to reach into the hole. There's a valve down there. Simply turn that valve back on. Water should now be resupplied to our hydrant. And you can see you can see down in there where the valve is located. We're back at the hydrant now. And voila! We now have water. And we're going to have to make a slight adjustment in the mechanism because it's got a slight leak. We don't want that to happen. But we have, in fact, taken care of the broken clevis rod that we had in this and it was not necessary to pull the whole thing out of the ground. As you can see there's now no leak and the adjustment for that is simply the way that you connect the clevis rod to the top of this hydrant. You have to make a slight adjustment to make sure that there's no leak. So the job has been done. Thank you for watching.